If the mitochondria are defective, they can't use ketone bodies for energy. So if most cancer cells obtain energy through fermentation, then what therapies might we be effective in managing and preventing the tumors? Well, one strategy is to reduce levels of fermentable fuels while elevating levels of non-fermentable fuels. And this is a simple diagram illustrating how we begin to shift levels of the fermentable fuel glucose and replacing glucose with the non-fermentable fuel ketone bodies, which are derived from the mobilization of fats in the liver. So the liver makes ketone bodies out of mobilized fats. So blood sugar must be lowered because the cancer cells thrive on fermentable uh, glucose. So glucose is fermented to lactic acid. So in order to stop that process, it is important to lower blood sugar levels. But, but we're taking away a fuel, right? So you have to replace one fuel with another fuel. So we increase ketone bodies. Ketone bodies have to be respired in normal mitochondria. If the mitochondria are defective, they can't use ketone bodies for energy. Only normal cells with normal mitochondria can use the ketone bodies for energy. Mitochondria of cancer cells cannot burn ketones. As a matter of fact, ketones are absolutely toxic to many cancer cells. And basically, it's the ratio of glucose in millimolars to ketone bodies in millimolar, and you get this GKI, glucose ketone index. And we showed with others that therapeutic efficacy is considered best with index ratios approaching 1.0 or below. Now, we adopted this glucose ketone index into a more global approach to cancer management called the press pulse therapy using two different strategies, a chronic press that puts stress on, on the cancer cell metabolism, and then acute pulses, specific, specifically drugs and procedures that will I interact synergistically, will work synergistically with press therapies. So essentially, with the goal is to uh, gradually move uh, the patient from a state of disease to a state of health by strategically targeting tumor cells while enhancing the health and vitality of normal cells, a very different strategy than is what is currently done. So certain press therapies include ketogenic metabolic therapy using restricted ketogenic diets and ketone supplements, stress management, emotional stress contributes, anxiety contributes to elevated blood sugar. So we do, we do uh, stress management therapies to lower anxiety and blood sugar through corticosteroid elevation, we reduce corticosteroid elevation. And then we use certain drugs and procedures that work to target availability of glucose and glutamine, working together with the press therapy. And gradually the cancer is degraded slowly and uh, the patient will emerge from the treatment healthier than when they started. The key goal here is to, is to degrade and kill tumor cells without harming the body and even enhancing the health and vitality uh, of the overall body. Now, this is a paper that we recently published in a preclinical system for glioblastoma, outlining how press pulse works to manage aggressive uh, uh, brain cancer, me uh, malignant brain cancer. And we combined a calorie-restricted ketogenic diet, that is ketogenic metabolic th um, uh, therapy, together with a glucose-targeting drug called Don. Uh, uh, 6-dioxynorglucine. This is a, a drug that looks like glutamine but cannot be metabolized. And this strategic a synergistic interaction was able to significantly kill and wipe out these brain cancer cells while improving overall survival and quality of life. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.